Right now, President Barack Obama is meeting with, he's just now leaving the House Republicans. Let's listen to what he's saying. Uh, all across the country has just underscored how severe this recession is and how urgent it is that we act. Uh, I recognize that we're not going to get 100 percent of support, uh, but uh, I, I think everybody there felt good uh, about uh, that, that I was willing to explain how we put the package together, how we were thinking about it, uh, and that we continue to welcome some good ideas. All right? Mr. President, you Back to the Hill, and John Boehner, Eric Cantor, the two Republican leaders, their side of the story. Share a sincere belief. Uh, that we have to have a plan that works, uh, that will revive our economy, create jobs, and help preserve jobs uh, in our country. Uh, but I think our members uh, enjoyed the conversation. I think the president enjoyed the conversation. And I look forward to continuing continue to work with him uh, to improve this package uh, in the coming days uh, so that it is a package that will work for American families, small businesses, and our overall economy. The most encouraging statement I think the President made uh, today was the fact that he had no pride of authorship uh, in this bill. Uh, we take that to mean that tomorrow's vote is only the first step in the process, only the beginning. And uh, we intend to take the President at his word uh, and to continue to refine what it is that the House Republicans have put forth on Friday uh, as our plan. We are going to meet now as our working group just after this uh, to do just that, as the leader said, to produce ideas that actually uh, begin to preserve the jobs that we have and create new ones. We're going to work very hard, obviously, on the spending issue as well, uh, because we feel that so much of the spending that's in the bill, frankly, although may be laudable in and of itself, has no place in the stimulus bill, which ought to be focused like a razor on the preservation, protection, and creation of jobs. House Republicans sincerely appreciate the President coming and meeting with us. We are inspired and challenged to work harder, and I, I think that his, his biggest challenge to us is that, you know, he says, it is most important that Republicans and Democrats are working together, and that's it is. This is a, an unprecedented, unprecedented time that we face in our economy, and that it really is going to take Republicans and Democrats working together. Uh, and and the challenge uh, as we move forward really is to make sure that the House Democrat, the House Democrats, the leadership in the House is is reaching out to us in a similar fashion. We have our, our we have our ideas. We have solutions that will help homeowners, that will help the, the, the taxpayers of this country and, and really help the small businesses, which we know are the job creators in this country. And we are, we are anxious to work with the House Democrats on a package that will really move this country forward. Mike Pence, conference chairman, we just had a, a cordial, substantive uh, and vigorous uh, dialogue with the President of the United States. We are grateful that he would come uh, in this kind of an environment and uh, respond to questions and listen to proposals uh, by House Republicans. Uh, we are grateful for the outreach from the White House and we take as genuine uh, the President's desire uh, to set partisan differences aside and draw on the best ideas in the Congress to deal with this very real crisis in our economy. But as grateful as we are for the President's spirit, uh, as I told him uh, personally, uh, House Democrats have completely ignored the President's call for bipartisan cooperation. Uh, the bill that is scheduled to come to the floor this week will come to the floor without any consultation among House Republicans and with, uh, with categorical opposition to the kind of Republican solutions that we believe are necessary to truly get this economy moving again. Uh, the bill that is coming to the floor tomorrow uh, rather than being a balanced and careful bipartisan measure where all sides have brought their ideas forward, the bill that House Democrats will bring, bring to the floor tomorrow will literally be a catch-all of traditional uh, pet programs uh, and more government. The only thing it will stimulate is more government and more debt, and the President heard that message today. But he also heard a message from House Republicans that the door of our conference will stay open to this President. We are grateful for his outreach. We are grateful for the spirit of bipartisanship he is challenging this Congress to embrace. And we hope, as this legislation and other legislation moves forward, that the President's rhetoric will become a reality in the way that we formulate the laws of this nation. We'll take a couple questions. Mr. Boehner, did you find any common ground? Was there any common ground between you and the President? 
Well, I think uh, the agreement over some of the tax cuts that are in the package, uh, we're clearly in agreement with, with that. It's just that we don't think the, the tax package is large enough. And secondly, uh, you know, the concern over spending. The, the president did say he has some concerns uh, over some of the spending proposals that he sees in, in this bill. And so uh, those are the, the two areas where there was coming right. Did you bring the contraception uh, problems that you uh, That issue was not brought up. Mr. Leader, when, when talking with him in this in this capacity, I mean, is it a point where, I mean, you talk about matching word to deed here, but I mean, was there anything that you saw in this meeting where you saw evidence of the deed at this point? Just not word. Uh, I th the president is sincere in wanting to work with us, uh, wanting to hear our ideas, and trying to find some common ground. Uh, he, he said that he knows, and we know, that there are going to be some ideological differences. Uh, we certainly expect that. Uh, but I do think uh, that the president is, is sincere in, in wanting to work with us to try to minimize those differences uh, so that we can get a bill that works and help the American people. What Thanks. Say that he, Thank Mr. you. Mr. Banner, he said that he would not like compromise on tax. And the Senator, Hello, and now he's coming back over to the microphones. Uh, we had Let's a see what he has to say. very constructive meeting with the House members, uh, members of the uh, Republican caucus. Uh, I'm a little bit late for my Senate colleagues, former Senate colleagues, and uh, the main message I have is that uh, the statistics every day underscore the urgency of the economic situation. Uh, the American people expect action. Uh, they want us to put together a recovery package that puts people back to work, that creates investments that assure our long-term energy independence, an effective health care system, an education system that works. Uh, they want our infrastructure rebuilt, and they want it done wisely uh, so that we're not wasting taxpayer money. Uh, as I explained to the Republican House Caucus, and I will explain to uh, my former Senate colleagues, uh, the uh, recovery package that we've proposed and is moving its way through Congress is just one leg in a multi-legged stool. We're still going to have to have much better financial regulation. We've got to get credit flowing again. We're going to have to deal with the troubled assets that many banks are still carrying and that make uh, the uh, that have locked up the the credit system. Uh, we're going to have to coordinate with other countries because we now have a global problem. I am absolutely confident that we can deal with these issues, but uh, the key right now is to make sure that we keep politics to a minimum. Uh, there are some legitimate philosophical differences uh, with parts of my plan uh, that the Republicans have, and I respect that. In some cases, uh, they may just not be as familiar with what's in the package as I would like. I don't expect 100 uh, percent agreement uh, from my Republican colleagues, but I do hope that uh, we can all put politics aside and do the American people's business right now. All right? I'm not a crook.